What is up, Lipsters? Welcome back to the Toothpick Tour. On this episode, we are going to St. Louis, Missouri, technically Belleville, Illinois, to visit my cousin, uh, Jake. He's in the Air Force. But yeah, we got a fun weekend planned for you guys, and uh, we got a six hour drive for me. So uh, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, ignore the hat hair, but uh, we made it to St. Louis, technically. Cuzzo, right here. Uh, what yeah. Up, what up? We're, uh, it's Friday night, um, but yeah, we're gonna get some sleep tonight, and we got a long, busy day for you guys tomorrow, so uh, we'll see you in the morning. Alrighty guys, good morning. It is rally day, Saturday. I'm hungover as shit. <laughs> it's currently like 8.15. Uh, we're gonna get some food in us. I'm gonna go back, shower, get ready, and then go on the metro to go to St. Louis. So uh, let's get some food. I'm a shit. Fit check. So we're uh, gonna take a metro train to downtown St. Louis. I'm uh, trying to figure out how to do it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't have a phone. We have no clue what we're doing. I don't even think there's drivers on here. so bad on the metro bio, but we got it done now we got tickets what we got what we got we got two oh, oh yeah yeah they should be like more. we are in the stadium uh we're in section like 400 so it's probably nosebleeds but uh we're gonna we're gonna see what the view looks like it's a really nice day saturday game very busy we're all the way at the top look at this shit yeah Don't get me wrong, the seats are beautiful, but it's a lot of shade and we're cold, so uh, we're gonna go around, get some hats, get some gear, and then we're gonna go to some warmer seats in the sun. If you guys didn't know, St. Louis is known for their arch. It's pretty sick in person. All right, let's get well, Come on. Brewers are up 2 0 already in the top of the what first. What a great fucking start. This what is a bullshit. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we are gonna get a St. Louis wiener. See how it is. I need more beer. Not the worst he isn't in the majors, he's in the <gasps> Cardinals are, uh, wow. Cardinals scored a run, it's clearly two to one. All right, so we had to try a St. Louis wiener um, at the Cardinals stadium. <laughs> Hot dog, whatever. Glizzy, whatever you want to call it. Let's uh, look at that. Pretty decent. No, uh, no, no, uh, shriveled. All right, we'll do a little taste familiar. test. Come on. Wait, wait. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Okay. One bite, everyone knows the rules. I'm gonna try yours. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna go Out of 10. You know, it's, it's not dry. Pretty like juicy. That. I'm gonna give it a flavor to it. I'm gonna give it a seven nine. Seven nine. Yeah. Wow. Pretty decent. I was gonna go seven six. Seven six. Okay. It's good. It needs mustard and relish. Yeah. It needs. We didn't get any uh, 
condiments or anything, no, but I mean, by it itself, it's pretty good, I'd say. By itself, it is good. I'm, I'm saying 7-6. So I'm going to go with it. Now we're going to go to the team store, get some merch. I'm probably going to get a hat. I got to add to the fitted collection. I'm almost at half of the hat, so 15 out of the 30 MLB teams I got to fit it for, so I got to complete got to complete the showcase. <laughs> they have a stupid collection of hats, bro. Stupid. I ain't buying shit. This is ridiculous. Well, it's 4 to 2 Cardinals and we're in the team store buying merch. So, Copped a fire hat. <laughs> Bet by uh, yours truly, Jake I need, Morris. Um, more beer. Oh God. <laughs> the Brewers just hit back-to-back -back backside bombs, bro. So uh, I don't know what's the score. It's tied four-four now. Yikes! Fire hat though. You already know we had to upgrade the seats. You gotta ask the people, you know, get a feel, make sure no one's sitting here. We upgraded in the home run section, gotta get some sun too. It's currently 5 4. Um, was at the top of the sixth inning. We've moved seats probably four times, but uh, we got a better angle now. Try to get a little warmer area. We'll show you guys. Shout out my boy Ethan Cat, big Cardinals fan. They're selling right now. Back to back home run, backside bombs. Gears fire though. This one lady's trying to start the wave. Like, watch the game. Why are we whistling? Why are we whistling? She has no life. Woo! Um, the, Cardinal, the Cardinals are changing their pictures, so know what time it is? It is Tinder time, featuring Jake Morris. We ain't got shit here. <laughs> this ain't good, man. We are, we're like 0 for 54 on here. Like, sorry, 1 for 55. <laughs> All right, now they're losing 9 to 4, so uh, we're going to get pizza food. slices. By the slice over here, let's go do that. We want food. These idiots are getting a beer bat full of beer. I don't know how many ounces. We'll find out. Take a look at this thing, bro. Look at these idiots. <laughs> Take a sip, take a sip. Cheers. You made a mess, bro. Got halfway done. <laughs> Four flights of stairs. Woo. How are you feeling? God, I hate stairs. <laughs> He's barely making it. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be shit. <laughs> break. Stair break. Bro needs a break, he's tapping out. <laughs> I'm fat and I'm tired, man. <laughs> this man is so out of shape, bro. So out of shape. <laughs> stairs, I guess, are different than running. So. Dude, the Brewers are on fire right now. It's what? It's 11 to 4. Really hard to watch. But hey, you'd rather have a, you'd rather have a, you know, adventurous, busy game than a 0 to 0 game. Guy behind me is checking the score line. I don't know that way down. That's when you bring out a pair of gloves. Like, what are these? Yeah, what are these? <laughs> oh, there you go. I'll bring a fucking. Someone was nice enough to give me the, the giveaway, the jacket. Now you get action. Yo, let's go, dude. This is sick, right, man. The whole fit matches perfectly now. The blue hat. <gasps> well, Brewers won, beat the Cardinals 12 to 5. It was pretty bad. It was about 104 to 3. I mean, the Brewers had 18 hits, bro. 18 hits. Talk about a hot team right now, bro. Cardinals are nothing, but the drift is there, you know? It is the next day, and it is time to go fishing. Let's go fuck some shit up. Disclaimer, guys. It's been, uh... <laughs> it's been like two years since I've fished, so 
Last time I went fishing, I was in uh, Florida. Caught some jack and uh, some uh, big, bigger fish, but we're just doing simple bass here. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get to it and catch something. This is the setup we got. Pretty nice uh, channel here. It's an absolute beauty of a day though. I mean, for a normal mid-April day in the Midwest, it's uh, about 65 degrees and sunny, so uh, can't complain. All right, give us a little rundown on what we got, Jake. All right, here we got a little Whopper Popper. I don't even know if that's what it's actually called. It's just what I call it. Uh, nice little Shakespeare stick. I like the color. This is my baby. Oh yeah. Um, comment in the comment section below if you think I should make shish kebabs out of these fish with my toothpicks. What? <laughs> Jake's on a drought for catching fish. So what kind of fish could we catch in here, Jake? I've caught nothing but bass here. Okay. Um, How big? My biggest one here is like four and a half pounds, five pounds. Ooh. Nothing geez. crazy. About the size of my forearm. Yeah, that's pretty big, eh? <laughs> hey, anything over two inches is big to me. Yeah. <laughs> Watch him cast away, eh? What a thrive. Well, guys, I already stabbed myself with the... With the what? Bopper, man? Whopper popper. Whopper popper. <laughs> well, guys, I threw it in the moss and then I threw it in the grass. So, uh, I'm going to try again. Hold this. It won't twist. Hey, you want to know why? Why? You reeled in way too quick. Too quick? Either that or you let the line run. Oh. Uh. Well, guys, now we know. Ew! I caught something. It was just not fish. You've got to be kidding me. What is this shit, dude? Wow! Well, guys, fishing's not my thing. So, uh, I guess I didn't let go of the reel in time, and uh, the bait came back and stabbed me and caught onto my hand. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Dude, I don't understand how you do this. <laughs> I, I'm just not. Oh, nice. That didn't even cut. I have such a shitty knife, dude. <laughs> this thing didn't cut anything. <laughs> there we go. Now, I just don't understand what the f you did here. I was like it got caught again, so I undid it and tried to reverse it, and then it just spewed everywhere. What? So I don't know. I mean, based off what I'm seeing here, you should just stick to YouTube. Because not a YouTube fisherman, all right. No, no. Yeah, dude, it's not my strong suit. It's okay, but it's okay because you have a professional hick here that can fix this. I personally think it's a uh, real error on your end. Real error. <laughs> a real, yeah, fishing. Real. This ain't even my pole. Whose is it? Magotes. Well, I want a refund. Shout out, Magotes. This is bull crap. No, it's not even bull crap. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mustache maniac. Now we're going to get the wiggly worm on here instead of the booker banger. What? Whopper popper. Whopper popper. Screw this thing. <laughs> Stab it. This thing will have to too. <laughs> You said what? Make it tight and what? Make it tight and jerk it. Make it tight and jerk it, guys. Look, now we got it back. We got the little worm back. Wormy's back. Just peacefully waiting for nature to take its course. Comment below uh, what's your favorite nature activity. I'm not a big fisher guy, um, fisherman, <laughs> so. But yeah, I love nature. I love sunsets and the sky and hiking and adventures, but I'm not the greatest fisherman. That's what uh, Cuzzo's for. He's a big hick kind of guy. Loves fishermen outside stuff, so. The more hick side five stuff, you know, so. But I love to travel and just see nature and stuff. And, but yeah, I'm trying. I fished before, believe it or not. I'm a little rusty, as you can see. We've moved spots to hopefully catch something. Update, we haven't caught anything. 
Well, we caught nothing. My lips are chapped. And uh, broski's on Tinder and Hinge. If you guys didn't know, uh, I'm a pretty clean person, but uh, Jake isn't. So uh, we're doing a segment. We're doing a segment called a Clean Jake Tour. Basically a mobile storage unit. Yeah. Got everything I need. <laughs> yeah, I mean, good lord, dude. And look at it. <laughs> hey. I mean, like. He needs everything he has in here, you know? Some, some people like to uh, keep things in the room and bring them up to their car when you need it. Everything I need's already in here. So it's like, I don't see a point. The only thing I see, like, a point in cleaning up is, like, this shit. Uh, probably not we it. don't promote that. <laughs> cleaning, out his, cleaning out his car, bud, get his clubs out to practice. See the swing on a scale of 1 to 10. I'll give it like a 7, 6. You look a little stiff. Dude, he's got <laughs> month old wieners, dude. Bro, I forgot we tried to use these for catfish bait. We never opened them. Let's see if I can make it. Here. That was kind of a dot. That was a dot and a half. I feel like Polly Paul. And oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Looks squeaky clean. How do we feel? 100 times better than I did about 15, 20 minutes ago. Why, why do we not throw this shit away? What? Might need a tetanus shot now. Uh, you hear that? What's that mean? It's a national anthem. Go, let's go! We got shit to do today, gentlemen! Get up! Get your asses outside! Get <laughs> Are we balling on a budget or what? Dude, what the f happened last night? Wait, a dollar ninety cents. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to leave. Salute to Mr. Morris for having us. It was fun. I appreciate you making a six-hour drive out here. I know it was brutal, but hey, we had a good weekend. I can't wait for potentially Nashville. That would be fun. Stay tuned for that, guys. Yeah. That would be fun, but worst case scenario, I come up to see bus and we go mess around in the sticks and see what we can make happen out there and rally up. Oh shit! <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Toothpick Tour in St. Louis. Shout out my cousin. We had a really fun weekend. A lot of ups, a lot of downs. If you know, you know. If you guys are new, like, comment, subscribe, share. Please comment more video ideas. Make sure you guys stay tuned and. Uh, See you in the next one.